Okay, so this is for the subject strategic business analysis and the topic for this video um, developing an integrated marketing communication strategy. Okay, so we have an article from prismglobalmarketing.com. All right, so definition what is integrated marketing communication? So it is a strategic, collaborative, and promotional marketing function where a targeted audience receives consistent and persuasive brand messaging through various marketing channels in an integrated way to move buyers through the decision-making process. Okay, so currently we have you know various um, channels available to us for us to advertise. So, but in social media, uh, tra more traditional radio and TV ads, better in newspaper or any print materials. Spreading flyers, spreading billboards, spreading banners, okay? So, yeah, and then of course, spreading um, SMS messaging or spreading email marketing, okay? So, as I say, uh, there are all these ways that businesses can reach their customers, okay? So, yung integrated marketing campaign, or sorry, integrated marketing communication, so, kumbaga, you're going to integrate um, a few of these channels, pipili ka kung ano yung mag work out for you and of course applicable for your product or service. Okay? At the most basic level, integrated marketing communications helps to ensure that marketers are using all of the available channels to them to amplify a marketing campaign and or, or brand messaging to reach their target audience or buyer persona. So to help you develop your integrated marketing communication strategy, consider using these four steps to create and implement a cohesive and integrated marketing strategy and jumpstart your success. Okay, because uh, what you need is for your products and or services to be sold to your customers para mga start kang, you know, uh, magkaroon ng revenue and for that, ito yun yung uh, actual source of funds ng yung business, okay? Uh, operating funds. Okay, so yung steps na binigay niya dito, first is to identify different marketing communication methods, okay? As part of your integrated marketing strategy, it's imperative to determine the various marketing communication methods you want to leverage as part of your plan, okay? Consider your target audience, Define mo kung sino ba lang gusto mong i-target. How they like to receive information. Okay. Uh, karamihan ba sa, sa kanila active on social media? Uh, madalas ba silang, you know, which, pagdating sa social media, marami pa rin types. So, you have your Facebook, Twitter, um, Instagram, and then you also have YouTube, and among others. Okay. So, you need to, you know, gather facts to determine this information. And then, perform research on the problem they are trying to solve. Okay, ano ba yung uh, existing problems that they have and how do you think they can resolve it? Okay. Um, from there, determine what channels are most relevant for your specific campaign. Some examples include, so una, content marketing. Make your content available online through blog content, video marketing, premium content, yeah, behind a landing page. Do capture information. Diba yung mga pop-ups? Either pagka, you know, uh, when you click on a link, tapos dinala ka sa isang webpage, yung iba may pop-up. Uh, subscribe to our email list, ganyan. Or get this freebie, free workbook, or free course or something. So that you would provide your information, your name, or your email. Ganyan. Um, dynamic website content to help your potential buyers connect and learn more about you even before they start the decision-making process, okay? Normally for, you know, di ba may mga pop-ups nga na nahingi ng email, sometimes, you know, other people would uh, create one just for that purpose, ano, hindi yung personal na email ang binibigay nila. Um, email marketing, use email to re-engage your existing audience through unique and helpful content. Okay, so once you have your subscribers na ano, binigay na sa'yo yung email or contact information ng mga potential customers mo, then you now have to provide useful 
and I uh, helpful information to them. Kasi kung wala namang sense yung mga pinapadala nyo na email, tapos masyado pang madalas, eh the tendency is mag subscribe ang customer. Always consider your existing contacts and how you can re-engage them through content. Okay? Uh, this is kind of hard to do actually or hard to achieve yung magkaroon ka ng interaction with your customers unless it's, you know, to tell them to uh, buy something if you have a new product or if you have an updated product. It's not always about generating new leads, but oftentimes your most impactful marketing efforts come from delivering the right content at the right time to your existing subscribers. Here is a helpful case study about how to drive growth and see tremendous impact through email marketing. So if you'd like to check on that, um, I will link the article in the description. Next, we have social media marketing. Uh, it opens the doors to building relationships, developing a brand, aware, uh, brand awareness, generating website traffic. Okay, so social media has a you know, my, my own, uh, interaction available. You can like, react, like, heart. Haha, <laughs> okay, the post, or you can also make your comments, you can tag your friends in the comment section. Tapos, you can also share, diba, if you find it entertaining, witty, or something uh, worthwhile to share. Okay, which in turn would help drive more traffic to that particular ad. Okay. When combined with email marketing and content marketing, digital marketing campaigns utilizing social media can truly bring exceptional results by connecting with your target audience on a platform they are already spending time on regularly, okay? And then, yung second step after you have uh, defined, uh, sorry, not defined, identified uh, which marketing communication methods you're going to use, then you can now develop a marketing communication plan, okay? Um, siguro karamihan ng business, it's, so, uh, it's possible that they could find audience in, on Facebook, but for, let's say, Twitter, hindi naman lahat andyan. Meron lang uh, certain groups of people na very active on Twitter. And then for Instagram, uh, normally it would uh, be suitable for businesses that uh, that can showcase, you know, the appearance of their product. Okay, Especially if, you know, it's more about uh, making an appeal, appeal visually. Okay. Develop a marketing communication plan. Once you have determined the marketing channels uh, that are going to resonate with your audience, it's time to develop a comprehensive plan to execute on your marketing initiatives. So you need three primary items, audience. Again, determine the buyer persona for each of your marketing methods. Because your ads, naman, when you run them, especially in social media, um, tawag dito, merong way on how you're going to define them dun sa, you know, algorithm ng uh, mga social media sites. Okay? You can check, okay, before you run the ads, you can um, define your audience, ano yung age group, ano yung gender nila, sang location, okay, mga ganon, ano yung interest nila. Okay? Um, for example, if one of your personas are baby boomers, consider email marketing and Facebook. If your other persona is millennials, consider texting and Instagram. Your persona is going to define what channels you use to engage with them, not the other way around, right? Tapos pagdating sa content, define the content that will speak to your audience the most effectively, okay? Kanya-kanyang generation or age group, di ba may kanya-kanya silang slang or way of uh, communicating with one another. Merong mga you know, inside jokes na only people from their generation would understand or relate to. Okay? For example, if you are trying to generate new, cont uh, new contacts for your database, you may want to have a top of the funnel offer such as subscribing to a newsletter, downloading a checklist on your site. Okay? Pro tip, you can even have this as a pop-up form that displays when people are exiting your site, yung iba, upon, you know, coming in on the site, pero yung iba, turn off non ang ginagawa nila, um, at the bottom of the article, or when the uh, person reaches the bottom of the page, saka lang, magpa-pop up, okay? Uh, this gives you one last way to connect with them. You would be surprised how well these work. I have seen conversion 
up to 15 uh, sorry 17 percent on pop-up forms if you're trying to drive re-engagement in your database to convert existing leads into opportunities consider delivering them with uh, case studies video testimonials and more this will aid them in their decision making process okay but only if applicable depending on the product or service for them Okay, next you have cadence. So it's important to understand how often people like to receive information. Yes, if it's too often, no thanks. Okay. Tapas sampra yung content then you have to check is it useful or not. Kasi kung magkwento ka lang kung ano nangyari in your last week, no thanks then. Okay, you can get this data from a variety of marketing automation platforms. So for example, HubSpot. I uh, can see how often people read emails, engage on the website. And even on social media. Normally, mga service provider ng email marketing, uh, they do have that. Ano, Pina provide nila ilang tao. Uh, of course, how many people are on your list? Tapos, how many of them opened the email? How many of them clicked on the links that you provided on the email? Tapos, which of the links uh, are they. Did they. I'm uh, sorry. Aling link yung mas madalas nilang? A click okay so I um we can use that information to ensure we are sending consent frequently enough but not too frequently that it becomes overwhelming for the prospect one time I had this experience parang three emails in a day so you know on the second day and subscribe if you see the first specific product or service you offer the general sales cycle is around 90 days you want your email cadence to align with that time frame. Use the data available to you to make the best decision based on your audience and how often they engage with your brand. Okay. And that's additional information pala no, na pina provide ng uh, service provider, email marketing, kung ilan ang nag-unsubscribe. Tapos, di ba normally when you unsubscribe, merong reason bakit ka mag unsubscribe di ba? To receiving too many emails in general or from you or you just don't want to receive any more emails yeah so yeah, available then your information na yan. okay number three understand the customer decision making process okay so understand what makes customers decide to buy a product or service and then discover why they would decide to buy from you okay uh, that's why di ba kapag merong customer ka na and some businesses would create surveys okay where did you hear about us okay how did you know about our company or our product ganyan so that uh, in a way the company would know alin dun sa mga marketing ads nila or marketing campaign ang gumagana for them okay which ones actually brought in customers for them okay uh, the important thing here is understanding the problem you are solving for them and how to help them in that decision journey okay you can also ask in the you know, survey form, uh, what do you like about the product? What uh, improvements do you think we should, we should still do for the product? Ganyan. Okay. You will notice that some customers use an extended decision-making process, but others use low levels of involvement to make limited, nominal, or spontaneous decisions. It all depends on your business and what you sell. If it's a consumer item that is a low price point, your time frame will be shorter because you know, affordability is a consideration. If you are selling B2B software, it's likely longer due to the number of people involved. Okay, before my decide on management, pag-iisipin pa, uh, pag pa ng matagal, discussions and among people are going to use, and other considerations. Most customer decisions follow a basic pattern while involved in a particular situation that could result in a sale. So this is called the decision-making process and the following is an example that outlines the process, okay? So you have yung awareness stage. So, you know, nakikita pa lang, nagkakaroon pa lang ng awareness na, ay, may existing pa lang product na ganyan, ina-advertise nila. And then consideration stage, later pag, you know, frequent mo na siya nakikita, so medyo tumatitak na sa isip mo, so you consider ano ba tong product na to, you get, uh, you become more curious and a bit interested, okay? And then decision stage, kapag na-check out mo na yung product, yung links nila or information about the company or the product itself. So, you can decide on whether 
uh, you want to avail of their product or not. Okay. So they recognize a problem, they search for information, they identify products and services that can solve the problem. Tapos they choose which alternative they will buy kung meron ng other existing products in the market. Ano. And then they assess the after sale experience, customer service. Baka mamaya pagkabili mo, tapos nagalaw ka ng you know, encounter problems, wala ka makausa. Okay? Wala man lang mag-address ng questions mo. Okay? Companies that understand the complex nature of consumer behavior and decision making can enhance the effectiveness of their marketing communications by tailoring their message to the decision process of their audience. Okay. Tapos last, number four, implement your marketing communication plan. Tapos you see the results, assess, tapos improve anything that needs improvement there. Okay, so calendar, make sure that you're using a calendar time frame, diba? Uh, to know what content is being set, sent at what time to prospects on, and on what channel. This will help you organize your campaign assets and communicate with your prospects at the right time and uh, at the right place and time in their decision making journey. Okay, sometimes they say na merong, you know, a uh, specific day and specific time na it's much better to send marketing emails compared to other days and times. Or when you post social media on social media, meron din uh, better times compared to others wherein uh, more people are more likely to engage. You know? Automation software, in order to do this and to do this at scale, you are going to need some type of marketing automation software that aligns with your CRM so you can see the full sales process. By using software to help you implement your program, you can most effectively reach your audience and present an integrated, seamless, and consistent message to them on a variety of channels with ease. Okay, normally, mga automation software is naman available na rin online tapos. Uh, merong free to use, merong, you know, on subscription basis, yun yan. So, if you need help with evaluating software solutions, so they have this, okay. Tapos, ano pa ba yung naisip ko kanina? Kalimutan ko na ulit. Uh, okay, maybe later. Malala ko ulit. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then analyze to help make your marketing communication strategy comprehensive and results-driven. Continue to monitor the needs of your prospects. Focusing on the capabilities of your product or service that solve their problem and generating audience excitement. You can do this through monitoring engagement with your campaigns, email open rates and click rate, social interactions, requests to speak with sales, and ultimately the closed deal. So here is a yeah, blog article about that. Okay. Ayan, naalala ko na. So, dito sa calendar, diba? If you notice din, diba, meron tinatawag tayo na prime time sa TV because more people are at home, especially yung mga working individuals. Nasa bahay na rin sila nanonood ng uh, probably TV to relax themselves. So, yung mga ads na uh, nakaschedule during the so-called prime time, uh, mas mahal siya compared dun sa mga daytime ads, ano, na let's say yung sa umaga or sa hapon. Uh, iba ano, iba yung pricing kasi syempre, mas malaki rin yung audience na ma-reach for particular time of the day. Okay. So, yan. Alala ko lang. Anyway, stay on top of trends. Always uh, uh, stay ahead of the curve to find new ways to make your marketing communication strategy different from your competitors. So, your communication efforts contribute to the value of your brand. So, minsan, di ba, may mga social issues or so some uh, businesses, they express their, you know, stand so that in a way they are seen as supporting a cause or an advocacy. And then sometimes they would also, um, during celebration, sometimes they would create a campaign that would resonate with the audience. Um, I think, for example, yung Jollibee, they had this series during Christmas season and then they also had one series during Valentine's na hindi pa yung mga short uh, love stories na I think that one was uh, quite successful back then kasi first of its kind yun. Okay. So, asan pa tayo? 
uh, there are constantly new tools and tactics introduced to the marketing uh, industry. Make sure you know what may add value to your integrated marketing communication strategy so you can test new tools and strategies that may align with your target audience. Okay. Um, IMC is complex. It requires not only thinking about the channels you are going to leverage, but the target audience content, cadence, technology, and tracking to ensure your campaigns are truly successful and driving revenue, okay? So, ayun lang ang content nito. So, again, four steps to developing an integrated marketing communication strategy. So, that's it. Thanks and bye.